welcome back to my little channel you know what today i'm going to talk about something completely useless and not at all important or at least not to the common folk what am i going to talk about i'm going to talk about the golden globes because uh Michelle Williams stands up for reproductive freedoms on a now this based on her Golden Globe acceptance speech. Who's Michelle Williams? Yeah, you know what? I'll not lie. I don't know. I simply do not know. Now, obviously, I looked into it a little bit. Not that much because I'm more interested in what she has to say than who she is as a person. Which is maybe unfair of me, but I'm going to be me anyway. Um, but what I found interesting is that even the description uh, on Wiki, whatever, talks about how she became famous by indie uh, work. And I'm like, but isn't the whole idea of, of indie that it's small scale? I don't know. Apparently she's been in a few big productions going to believe that going to leave it at that but i am going to go through her golden globe acceptance speech so this video will probably get a copyright strike and all that bullshit probably not because i am small so that's good for me but there is something that i did want to share with you and if you're a parent and you have a daughter this is something you may want to talk to her about because, oh my god. Anyway, here we go. Let's uh, see if you uh, spot what I saw. Actually, you will, because I will pause the uh, video. I'm using a video of now this, because they were kind enough to, to broadcast the, 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 the speech, the acceptance speech. So I'm going to be using that one. And uh, let me know what you think at the end. And obviously I'm going to give comments, because otherwise... Uh, now, nah, here we go. Let's... Um... When you put this in someone's hands, you're acknowledging the choices that they make as an actor, moment by moment, scene by scene, day by day, but you're also acknowledging the choices they make as a person. Okay, first off, you get an award based on your acting in a show, film, whatever. Nobody cares what you do as a person outside of your movie. I mean, obviously people would care if you break the law. But other than that, whether you like baseball more than hockey, or whether you like pizzas better than fries, nobody cares. The choices you make as a person are not as involved in giving you a Golden Globe as you pretend it to be. Please recognize what you are being recognized for now this is an important thing because if we don't tell our kids you know what there's a good reason to be proud of what you do but don't conflate it with what you haven't done if someone gives you a compliment for something say thank you don't try to make it bigger than it has to be don't downplay it very important accepting compliments is important but don't make it about what it's not okay step one the education they pursued, the training they sought, the hours they put in. I'm grateful for the acknowledgement of the choices I've made, and I'm also grateful to have lived at a moment in our society where choice exists. Now, I'm going to put it here. I can't remember a moment in American society where, on average, choice didn't exist. Hell, in the history of humans, I can't imagine a moment where choice didn't exist. You might not like the outcome of the choices you make, but you always had a choice. I mean, this is this is old story about a guy who said, well, what if I put a gun against your head and tell you to pull, suck my dick or I'll pull the trigger? Okay, it's a nasty choice. It's a choice nonetheless. Anyway, continue. As women and as girls, things can happen to our bodies that are not our choice. And again, she needs to make it about something that is not. Uh, she got 
an award for playing in a movie or a serial or whatever. And she's talking about how women and girls can have something happen to them that's not their choice. Now, never mind the fact that this can also be true for boys and men. Why is it that these people find it so important to be able to divide our society in non-existing groups just to prove that they are someone? See, this is, again, when I come back to it, uh, what I said earlier is teach your children how to accept a compliment. She doesn't know how to accept a compliment. So she has to pull in all sorts of things to give herself, herself, the feeling, okay, I have something to say. But you don't have to have something to say. People are acknowledging you for what you did, not for what you may have thought. That's a different sort of thingy. I heard Ricky Gervais uh, was uh, the comedian being allowed to uh, proceed this whole nonsense. And Ricky Gervais said, guys, whatever you do, don't make this political. Which, of course, obviously meant that all of them made it political, but it also shows that Ricky Gervais might have a little bit more common sense than these people. Things happen to boys and girls, men and women, that are not their choice, and then you deal with it. There's a old song, and I can't remember who it was, I think it was John Lennon's, Life is what happens when you're busy making other plans. And you deal with it. I've tried my very best to live a life of my own making, and not just a series of events that happened to me, but one that I could stand back and look at and recognize my handwriting all over, sometimes messy and scrawling, sometimes careful and precise. Oh, well. One that I had carved with my own hand, and I wouldn't have been able to do this without employing a woman's right to choose. Okay, now... You see the word applause, so you'll hear it in a moment ago. Um, in a moment. Seriously, though. She had a life. And she, she, she had the knocks, and the rolls and tumbles, and it was messy at times. Yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. Who of us hadn't had that life? Well, obviously not as good as she has. No one of us is at the Golden Globes. No one of us has the reach of, of millions maybe a few of us do let's be honest i don't but we all have our ups and downs our our knocks and and our tumbles and we have to deal with it now what it has to do with a woman's right to choose is beyond me now obviously i know that she's going to talk about abortion because apparently that's the only choice women are allowed to have according to these people but um, it is weird because as a woman you also had a right to choose not to open your legs I guess but that's not the choice you made and I wonder what that right to choose has to do if anything at all with the choices you made because to have a right to choose or to choose something are not the same anyway So brave. She has a right to choose. So brave. She recognized she has a right to choose. Yay! I mean, is this the definition of entitled? Or don't I understand entitled anymore? To choose when to have my children and with whom. I'm sorry. But, okay, in history there have been periods of time where women did not have that choice. Nor did men, by the way, mind you. This is a very important one. The idea of to be able to choose your partner is a relatively young one. A few hundred years at most. And even then, you do not have full control over the ability to choose when or with whom you have your children. Because let's be honest, you might want to have a kid with someone who can't have kids. There is that. And you might try to get pregnant and you can't. There is that. So, yeah, no, 
what she's talking about is having sex with someone, being pregnant, and then deciding, yeah, no, not your kid. And why the hell did you have sex with that person? See, that, that's the thing I never understood. The idea that abortion as um, birth control is acceptable goes beyond anything I understand. Now, don't get me wrong. I know most women don't understand this either. Most women don't want to have abortion as birth control, even though people can understand that there are reasons to have an abortion. Um, yeah, no, I don't want you as the dad of my kids isn't one of them. Convenience should never have been a factor. But then again, we know that convenience is a factor in more than 80% of abortions. I'm not sure if this is something to be proud of, but don't get me wrong, people, it gets worse. When I felt supported and able to balance our lives, knowing as all mothers know that the scales must and will tip towards our children. Now, I know my choices might look different than yours, but thank God or whomever you pray to that we live in a country founded on the principle that I am free to live by my faith and you are free to live by yours. So women, 18 to 118, when it is time to vote, please do so in your own self-interest. It's what men have been doing for years. Oh, so brave. Bullshit. This is by far worse than the whole abortion bullshit. Why is this worse? Because in all fairness, everyone has the right to vote in their own self-interest. To somehow think that a group of people based on their sex are a monolith is beyond shallow. And she actually thinks she said something meaningful there. Well, obviously, because the rest of the left-wing idiots in the hallway there are cheering her on. Oh, so brave, so brave. So stupid. How is your self-interest the same of a single mother living in a one-bedroom apartment somewhere in upstate New York? Or in Alaska? Or in Los Angeles? And... Why the hell is she a single woman? Different story. Never mind. But the idea that all women have the same self-interest because they are women. Damn, for fuck's sake, this is what Hillary Clinton tried. And we all know how that turned out. Vote for me because vagina. Yeah, well, but the other one is a dick. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. People don't vote based on your gender. Or well, they should. Let's be honest, uh, I'm pretty sure that if people had the right to choose, they wouldn't have chosen to be part of two world wars. Guess what? Men didn't have a right to choose. But they had to fight. It's, I know, a little bit unfair to compare a world war with a women's suffrage. But don't forget that even in America, when it came to women's suffrage, um, most women depending on the states they were in, already could vote. And then when it became a federal thing, there were equal amount of women against universal suffrage for women than that were in favor of it. I don't understand why um, people like you keep pushing this narrative. I mean, who are you trying to reach? I don't mind, though. I mean, it is something to um, warn our kids about. It's, it's, it's weird to call it warning. But yes, we should tell our kids this is something to be careful about. This is something to be aware of. If my son came home with a woman with these kind of thoughts, my advice to him would be, dude, seriously, I know you like her. She's got a nice face and all. But uh, when you're sleeping on the couch, that face won't give you company. Because she's interested in women and girls. And okay, not if they're not born yet. Because it's okay to uh, abort a child, apparently. And there are plenty of reasons why it is okay to abort a child. I'm not against abortion. But abortion as a convenient thing. And then basically saying, well, well 
thank you all for allowing me to have a right to choose because we all want to have the best for our children. Yes, of course we all want to have the best for our children. I'm not quite sure where a child not even being allowed to be born is actually the best for a child. To conflate the two and then to, to top it off with the inane nonsense of women need to vote for China. I'm sorry. Yes, I know. I, I'm not even blaming now this for this one. I mean, uh, now this didn't do this. And I have no idea who Michelle Williams is. So maybe she comes from a very broken home and all that. But people, this is why you need to educate your children. Because if they believe shit like this, I feel sorry for you, for them, and any offspring they may have in the future. We really need to stop letting our children drivel like this. I know there are lots of drivels going on with children. I mean, they're being indoctrinated by a schooling system that um, has, hasn't had the best interest with them for, for the decennia now. But um, shit, even the media they consume pushes the narrative that, oh, poor women. Women don't have a right to choose. Yeah, you do. Shit, even before the whole concept of abortions, women had a right to choose. But the idea of free sex, now that's new. Anyway, I'm repeating myself. I'm going to call it quits. Um, like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. If you're willing to explain to me who Michelle Williams is and why I should have been interested in who she was or is, by all means, feel free to. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. If you think I said something that isn't fair, true, or honest, point it out. I'm more than willing to share my sources, and maybe you bring me something that I didn't think of or look into, and maybe you change my mind. I'm not going to say it's impossible, because let's be honest, it isn't. And I hope to see you all next time. Oh, I kind of do want to try and change the availability of my channel i want to grow so if you feel that you are able to share my work by all means do i prefer it if you did and you don't even have to take credit for it just a link would be nice <laughs> anyway thank you all for watching and i hope to see you all next time